New at five, local doctors are using a robot to perform knee replacements. Experts say it could result in less pain after the procedure, and many patients go home the same day. Dr. Maria Simbra explains how it works. Because of knee pain, Chuck Yelich couldn't kneel, couldn't garden. Downhills was the worst. It was a progressive, uh, increasing pain. Then, and I just, I couldn't take it anymore. He tried injections, but they didn't work. So we saw his doctor about finally getting knee replacements. He looked at me actually and said, do you think it's time? And I said, hell yeah, it's time. He had both knees replaced by the same surgeon. The left knee the traditional way with tape measures and rulers. Three years later, the right knee with the help of a robot. I'm an avid science fiction fan. And as soon as I heard robot, I said, this is incredible. <laughs> People almost have this idea of, you know, Terminator or this autonomous robot coming and doing the procedure while I'm drinking coffee in the corner. Dr. Michael O'Malley says it's not like that at all. He controls the robot, which makes precise cuts based on preoperative CT scans and a camera positioning system on the robot itself. It tells us exactly here's where you're going to cut. I press the button and control it, um, watching the screen and the patient, ensuring that it's in the perfect place. He says risks and complications are no different than with the usual approach and might even be reduced. There are several studies that have shown um, less pain, um, that there's less soft tissue damage because the, the robot is protecting that. About 60% of patients go home the same day with physical therapy at home. I was up and walking four hours after the surgery, up and down a flight of stairs. I was done, I was back home in bed in 10 hours. That's, that's, that's phenomenal. What I really want to patients to feel is that their fe knee feels more normal, that it doesn't feel artificial. While a robotic knee replacement is covered by insurance, it isn't an option everywhere. Only two UPMC hospitals offer it, UPMC East and UPMC Pasivant. Dr. O'Malley believes eventually there will be greater availability. My prediction is that in 10 years, the majority of knee replacements, if not all, will be placed robotically. Chuck had less pain and a quicker rehab. Much shorter, but it, it's a more precise surgery. Now Chuck wishes he could have had his first knee done with a robot too. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.